Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJAM and today we have a very interesting article from Variety that I want to review and react to because Netflix is rolling out a program to like stop people from sharing passwords. They want to charge people extra if they're found sharing their password outside of their households, right? So everybody knows that we share passwords with people who have netflix accounts as well as other streaming services such as like disney plus hulu etc etc and netflix is trying to crack down on that so let's let's take a look at this article and see what netflix has up their sleeve so let's go ahead and check this out so it says here on variety um that Netflix will prompt subscribers to pay for users outside their households in new tests to address unauthorized password sharing. All right, make us see what I'm going to do this. So let's see how they're planning on doing this. So it says here, um, I'll put the link to the article in the description. It says here that Netflix will soon launch a test letting primary account holders. So if you are the main account holder, pay an additional fee for users outside their households a new attempt by the company to address illicit such strong words here password sharing um, according to netflix's terms of service a customer's account may not be shared with individuals beyond your household after well full stop and then after years of turning a blind eye to password sharing behavior that falls outside that requirement the company last year which was 2021 ran a limited test prompting users to enter their account credentials as a way to nudge freeloaders into paying for their own accounts so now in an upcoming test launching in three countries chile costa rica and peru netflix will let members who share their accounts with people outside their households do so easily and securely while also paying a bit more according to Cheng Yi Long, Director of Product Innovation at Netflix. The new options will roll out in the next few weeks in the three countries and may or may not expand beyond those markets. So that line there that says may or may not, when they roll it out in these countries, if it's a success, if it works, if they're seeing a return on their investment in trying to clamp down, then they'll keep it on and move it to a wider region. If not, if there's an uproar and massive backlash, then that line right there just lets us know that they'll probably backtrack on it and not do it. But this just tells us, this is just the first part of the article, by the way. All this is telling me is Netflix is aware. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. We all know someone who share passwords. We share some kind of passwords. I have my mom's account on Disney+. Plus. I have my mom's account. And we know how expensive streaming services are, right? I watch Netflix. I watch Disney+. Plus. I watch HBO Max. I have Amazon Prime Video from my two-day shipping. That's four streaming services, and I still pay my cable bill. That's five different things I'm paying for just to watch a screen. So it's expensive, right? So if this is successful, if Netflix's rollout is successful, it will be interesting to see how they do it because will they use like an IP address? Are, is your router like one IP address or are your devices, how do they like register the devices? To, how would they know that I'm outside my household? I really want to know. It has to be some kind of IP address IP address thing, but it's, it's, it's interesting. Let's just read this last section here that says, we've always made, this is, this is Netflix speaking. We've always made it easy for people who live together to share their Netflix account. I mean, technically, because it says here, with features like separate profiles and multiple streams in our standard and premium plans. Uh, while these have been hugely popular, they have also created some confusion about when and how Netflix can be shared. As a result, accounts are being shared between households, impacting our ability to invest in great new 
TV and films for our members because Netflix is operating in debt. Like, I'm not talking about a few thousands, a couple hundred thousand dollars in debt. Netflix is operating in billions in debt. And they have been for years, right? So, as the article said, they have been, they, they are aware that people share passwords outside of their households. And I, I'm guessing um, they're just trying to clamp down on it. No. How successful will it be? I don't know. Um, Netflix Netflix makes a lot of content. Like, we, we eat real good from Netflix. Last year, they pledged for a movie every Friday in 2021, and they held up their end of the bargain. So, I guess I understand. I mean, they have to start making profit, right? And this is just one step in the right direction for them because it's their service. It's their platforms. And then, in the test countries that they mentioned, let's just jump down a little bit here. It says, the cost for adding a sub-member is... 2380 CLP in Chile, 299 USD in Costa Rica, and $7.90 pen in Peru. And uh, that's not bad because Netflix membership is like what? The middle one, the standard, because there's basic, standard, and premium, right? The basic is like $7.99. That doesn't give you HD, but I do the one that gets HD, so it's like. $13.99 I think is it and to add $2.99 to that it isn't too bad but what do you guys think I really want to know what you guys think I understand what they're trying to do um let's just see how successful this will be do you think it will be a successful rollout for Netflix trying to cut back on people sharing passwords do you share passwords with your family mem family members I'm sure a lot of us do, but let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? And recently, Netflix has increased their pricing in some of the regions across the world. Um, so Netflix are making a lot. Netflix is making a lot of moves to improve their service. But my only, um, my only, what do I call it? Peeve or whatever it is with Netflix, because we're in Jamaica, right? We fall under latin america and the caribbean when i'm watching some of my favorite shows on netflix and i click the subtitles i always see spanish subtitles i mean that's fine latin america spanish subtitles but it's latin america and the caribbean so where are my english subtitles for my english-speaking caribbean people so that's my only issue with netflix and it's a huge annoying thing for me like i want subtitles i cannot watch shows and movies without subtitles on the internet so netflix fix my subtitles please i'm in jamaica and i need my english subtitles so netflix is planning to roll out um this um additional household payment thing how successful do you think it will be let me know in the comments below thank you thank you for watching this video and i will catch you guys in the next reaction